Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Smart Moving Mod for Minecraft 1.6.4. Now firstly, what we need to do is download three files and then install a program. Now this program is called WinRAR and you can just get it in the description. So what you want to do is visit the description and under downloads there should be four links. So you just want to click them all. And uh, one should take you to Microforge, the other to Smart Moving, the other to Play API and then the other to WinRAR. And basically for WinRAR you just want to download the right version for your computer and then you basically just install it, you know, click next, 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 just follow the instructions and that should be really easy to install. And once you've got that program, what you want to do is go to the Microforge, this uh, website, and uh, in case you didn't hear me, that's in the description as well under downloads. And what you want to do is where it says select micro version, you just want to select 1.6.4 or the version you're on. And before we get started, let me just make something clear that this is for 1.6.4 and 1.64 only. And if you're trying to install it on a later update, it might work, but uh, I wouldn't risk it because uh, the installation might have changed and the downloads not, might not be up to up to date. So anyway, okay, so what you want to do on this Microforge downloads page, uh, just select your micro version. So, you know, I just did that. So just select 1.6.4. And what you want to look for is recommended. And you just want to click here, installer. And don't pay attention to anything down here, but what you want to do is wait five seconds. And then click skip add. And then you just want to press keep. And uh, you can close this now, and then you should be on Smart Moving. You just want to go down until you see Current Version. And uh, there are three versions of this mod. So there's the Mod Loader, Microforge, and Player API. And um, I'm going to go with the Microforge. I'm going to show you how to get that because it comes with all the features, and it's the most easiest. So you just want to press Mediafire down here. Uh, just click this hyperlink, and it should take you to Mediafire. And you just want to press Download. Okay, you can exit this off again. And now you should be on Player API. This is the last link to download. And you want to go down until you see Forge 1.1. And you just want to press this uh, hyperlink, Mediafire. You just want to click that. Should take you to Mediafire. You just want to press Download. Okay, so once you've downloaded them three things, you just want to locate your downloads, which for Google Chrome is just here. And uh, for any browser, it just pops up somewhere usually. And you just want to drag them to your desktop. So Microforge, uh, Player API, and Smart Moving. So you can exit the soft now. So once you've got all these three files and you've installed WinRAR, or you can get 7-zip, but WinRAR is free. 7-zip uh, might be as well, but I prefer WinRAR. And once you've done this, you want to open Minecraft. And you just want to press play. And, um, you know, make sure that you're on the profile you usually play on and that's on 1.6.4. So you just want to press play. And uh, this is just in case you don't have any files. I mean, you, you're you not missing any files. Uh, so this is just to get the Minecraft 1.6.4, you know, basic files and stuff. And then you just want to press quit. And now what you want to do is go to your Minecraft folder. So to do that, press the Windows, Windows key and R at the same time. And that should bring up this run terminal. And you just want to delete everything in here. And then just search percentage app data percentage. And then just press OK. And it should take you to your roaming folder. You just want to go to your dot .minecraft folder. Should be at the top or just uh, look for it down here or just search it. So just go into that. And then you want to go into your versions folder. And you want to make sure that you have the 1.6.4 folder here. Okay, once you've got that, you can go back. And now what you want to do is you want to get Microforge. So to do that, you want to just uh, right click on this Microforge installer. So just right click, open with Java. And if it doesn't come up here, you can just go to properties where it says opens with, just click change and then uh, go to Java. And if it doesn't come up there, just go more options and just select Java. Okay, then press OK. And you just want to double click on that. And if it's not a Java file, you can just right click, open with Java. And uh, wait, what you want to do is make sure that this dot is on install client and that it ends with slash dot Minecraft and then you just want to press OK. And what this will do, it will make a new version. So versions are basically the things we run. So right now you have one version and that's just your 
default Minecraft and we're going to make a new version with Minecraft Forge and then we're going to install these two mods onto that version. So once it's done it should come up with this message saying complete. This just means it's done so just press OK. And now basically you just want to go into Minecraft again. And as you can see if we go to this arrow down here next to profile, as you can see there's a new profile and this has just basically got our forge on and as I just said we're going to install the mods on it now. So you just want to press play to get all the forge files. And as you can see some folders will be generated now. Okay, and uh, if you see this mods tab then you're all good. So you also want to quit now, make sure you quit. And now you want to go into your mods folder, should be generated. If it's not, just uh, refresh it or go back and then forward again. And you should have a mods folder, you just want to go into that. And basically you just want to get this player API, you want to right click on it, properties. Where it says open suite, you just want to click change and you want to choose WinRAR. If it doesn't come up, go to more options and choose WinRAR. Then press OK, then just double click on it, drag that to the side. And you want to get this Java file, should be at the top, you just want to click and just drag it into here, you should get that plus symbol and you just want to let go and now you should have the player API into your mods folder you can exit this off now and then if you did that properties thing you know where we changed this then you should be able to just double click on this smart moving so just double click on it drag that to the side and you want to go back and you want to go into your versions folder and you basically just want to go into the 1.6.4 Forge, this is the other version we have. Then you want to right click on this jar file, open with Java. If it doesn't come up there, you can go to Properties, go to Change, More Options, and then just find WinRAR. I mean, yeah, WinRAR. Okay, then press OK, then open this with WinRAR. And make sure not to delete meta if If you've done modding before, you'll know that you usually delete that, but don't delete it for this and then basically you should have two WinRAR files here and the top one should be uh, for the Minecraft Forge and then the bottom one should be for the standalone and you want to double click on the Minecraft Forge one and just in case you've got the right one hover over it just to make sure that you've got the right one hover over it and it should say Smart Moving Universal for Mod Loader or Minecraft Forge you just want to double click on that and make sure not to close this, keep it open and you want to drag that to the side, you want to highlight any file and press Control A this will just make sure they're all highlighted and you just want to drag them into here don't don't drag them into a folder, just into here, into this white space and you just want to let go and then just press OK and uh, that's basically it guys, so you've made a new version with Microforge and then you've just added the mods files into it so you can exit all of this off and then go into Minecraft and basically now we have two profiles, so the normal one we have, or the other one was not named Forge, that will have our normal Minecraft, so our Minecraft 1.6.4 without any mods, and then the other one, which is Forge for the moment, will have the Smart Moving mod, and uh, if you go to Edit Profile, you can actually rename this to anything you want, just to let you know that this has Player API, I mean Smart Moving, so I'm just going to call it SM stands for smart moving, it doesn't matter at all and then just press save profile and now if you want to run the mod you just select SM and then press play and if you get down here that it says six mods loaded that means you're all good and smart moving is ready to go and if you go to mods you should have all these so you should have Minecraft go to pack, forge mod loader, Minecraft forge, play API, smart moving and smart render. So thank you guys for watching Smart Moving is installed now, so if you have any questions about the tutorial or just you need help, comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And also, if you have any feedback on this video, because it's my third video, please comment and I'll see you guys later.